This is a pile of shit. Cow shit. Cow's milk isn't produced on farms anymore. It's produced in factories, often with thousands of animals. These factories also produce millions of pounds of feces and urine, and they're moving in right next door to people's homes. So I went to visit those people. This is my house here, right. and directly across the highway, this is a state highway, is the dairy. The manure, they flush it with water, and it goes up to the lagoon. The lagoon, to get rid of it, they mix it with water and push it through a pipe and it comes out in a big sprinkler in the field. Everybody calls them a poop sprinkler. The smell and the odor is so bad you can't breathe. Your eyes water, your throat burns. For an industry to come in and move in on an area and take away the very thing that you need to live is a frightening experience. I don't have peace. Quite often when the stench is so bad, it invades your bedroom, it invades your kitchen when you're cooking. Dust from over there, and it's really not dust, it's fecal matter, it's so fine, it comes in every crack around the windows, anything. If I leave my bathroom window open, I have black on my floors. We don't know when it's gonna happen. We don't know when we're gonna face it. We can come home from a nice time in town, expect to come home and open our windows and uh, you know clean out our house and uh, let the fresh air in and we can't. And it really gets to a point where it's, it's, it gags you, or you are out of breath sometimes. It is just so bad. You know, ever since we were little children and our mothers were changing our diapers, poo-poo was a bad thing, and you washed it and you moved it on and, and got it out of your way. And it is bad. It is not a good thing. Makes me sad. Makes me really sad. I've got depression now I didn't have before. I also have to use an inhaler at times because I can't breathe. I mean, it's just miserable. You're prisoners in your own house. It's terrible to go to sleep at night um, knowing that, that somebody is taking away the breath that you breathe. A lot of people just um, are afraid to um, address the issue of factory farm pollution. We've been threatened, we've been intimidated, we've been marginalized, um, ridiculed, made fun of. Uh, what we need to do is have you the people in America join together with those of us that are fighting factory farms and, and um, stand up against them by not buying their products. Don't consume their products. That's how you can help us. 